and therefore the issue of the they said seventy five percent another lie seventy five percent of course that was our first proposal and everybody know including the company because they said it to us on many occasions that we know a final settlement would not be where your original proposal is and let me say when we look at the value or the impact on the workers' salary over the period where inflation ravaged their salary. And when we forecasted in the preparation of these proposals what inflation would be over the period, we felt that a 75% was justified. But despite the fact that we felt that it was justified, we said that in order to foster a good settlement, we ought to engage. And to the extent that we engage in the cut and thrust of negotiations, we are prepared to reduce drastically our original proposal. As a matter of fact, on the last occasion at the ministry, we were saying just before talks broke down that we are prepared to adjust downwards in the interest of a settlement. We are not inflexible, but we know, we want to know, we need to know from you that you are prepared to go beyond the 5%. They're telling us they are telling us, you put a proposal, you come down and then, and then, then what? Then nothing, you know. You come down and then, that's it. If they were saying to us that they had the authority to go beyond the 5%, we would have been discussing all now because that is what negotiation is about. Yes. You cannot determine the outcome of a negotiation before you hit the bargaining table. And therefore, you can't tell me that you negotiated with me when you have instructions not to go beyond 5%. Yes. So that we have the point... We, had, we were at that point where we said, no further purpose can be served in our discussion. And therefore, we have come to the point where we ought to take our next legal course of action. And this is where we are. So this nonsense about telling the public that we are about 75%. That is nonsense. We are prepared to negotiate. But we are prepared to negotiate with those who have the authority and those who are decent and honest to negotiate with us in the interest of all of the workers and therefore that that is only a uh, uh, public relations stunt you see in this place it's all about winning they feel they could win battles by public relations eh? public relations and smile and wave and a set of nonsense it is not public relations and smile and wave that cause the oil to come out of the beneath the sea or beneath the earth or the walkover programs or refinery operators or in the marine and point up here, or all of the ladies who work in the administrative part of the company. And let me just say, as I say, ladies, let me just wish all of the ladies at this point happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of the ladies. And uh, that you are present here this morning, it is a demonstration, a clear demonstration of your understanding that despite the fact that today is Valentine's Day, that you have a duty to lend to support to. You have a duty to perform here this morning. And I am seeing the crowds. I am seeing the workers who gather. On every occasion, I am seeing more and more ladies present, and for that, we want to compliment you. Yeah, yeah.